Over the past 24 hours, Israel has been bombarded by missiles, rockets, and suicide drones from Hamas in Gaza, Hezbollah in Lebanon, Hamas in Lebanon, militia groups from Iraq and Syria shooting suicide drones into Israel, and the Houthis in Yemen are still doing stuff, though it's unclear if they're coming from there. Constantly, red alerts in the northern part of Israel, and multiple times in the southern part of Israel, there have been red alerts, which means danger, rockets, missiles, suicide drones, etc. It really feels like this war has ramped up to the boiling point, and the pot is ready to spill over. Israel has destroyed more buildings in Lebanon than we've seen probably in a really long time. Um, every time anything happens, Israel just goes and bombs a few buildings. Okay, they have just surpassed 300 Hezbollah members, Hezbollah terrorists, have been officially killed yesterday or today. Again, numbers unclear exactly when it happened. They just surpassed 300 terrorists dead by Israeli bombings inside of Lebanon. There has been over 15 attacks on Israel with, actually, I think it's 13, either 13 or 15 red sirens just in the past day. And that's what hours ago, which means by now it's probably much more. As we speak, Israelis are running into bomb shelters if they haven't already moved to the center of the country towards Jerusalem. This is getting more and more dangerous. A few days ago, it, I think it was a missile, an anti-tank missile, that hit four Israeli soldiers and a civilian and killed them. As the more Israelis die, the more of a chance this goes into a full war. Hamas will be done by the end of the Rafah operation which will probably be done by the end of the lap of two months. Within two months, it's probably going to be finished, probably going to be wrapped up. They're going to go slow, methodical, and they're going to finish it soon. Which means, once they're done with that, it's time to turn towards the northern border. That means taking out Hezbollah, which is one of the hardest things in the world. And they've been preparing. And it is crazy there. It is, it's a war zone. People don't realize that. It's an actual war zone. Which means that the U.S. is ever closer to war because who's going to shoot down those tens of thousands of rockets and missiles and suicide drones raining down in Israel if the actual war breaks out? It's all the American interceptor power, intercepting power. We have the USS Eisenhower aircraft carrier just hanging around there, ready to shoot everything and anything down. We had the Carney there for a while. I think it went back home, but there's other ships in the area. There's guys on the ground, there's US bases. US will be involved. This is not Gaza with a few thousand terrorists with some homemade rockets. This is Bala with a huge arsenal and over a hundred thousand members. That can get bloody and it's getting closer. See you next video.